We've got a storm rolling in on us here in Longmont. And uh, it's, I don't know what delta winds are, but it's pretty intense here. And it's just right north of us here. Blowing it pretty good. There was stuff blowing down the road. I didn't get my camera on it in time, but stuff blowing down the road. You guys can tell. There's Longmont. It is right on top of us. Might be hooking on that backside. It's not severe, but that was Longmont. There we are. Blue dot. So it's going to be, it's right on top of us. It's 731 on Friday night. For the folks that, uh, for the folks that are using radar scope, this is a prime example here of how we utilize it. Now I am at home, uh, not doing anything. It's Friday night, but but this is exactly how we do it. There we are. That storm is rolling in on us. We're going to look here real quick, and there is some wind. We see that there's some good wind. See the brighter brighter greens. We're just going to kind of tell what those are. Let's go down. About 53 miles or so, 53.7 or so miles per hour. Radar scope in action. I mean, truly in action as it happens. 7.34 p.m. Friday night, August 4th. Whoa, CG, CG. I got hail. I got a little bit of hail, a little bit of grapple. There we go. Wow. Yes, good. That's awesome. And again, guys, I know there's water on the screen, but Radar Scope 101. Right now we're looking at super res velocity tilt one. So the, the scan is at 0 0.5 degrees. And the wind is actually a little bit, it's it's actually gonna be worse just to the east of us. And I mean just like a couple blocks to the east of us. We're going to go to regular composite reflectivity. I do use this, this particular uh, tool as well. That's still looking good right there by Longmont, right by us. So anyways, with that said, this kind of gives you a little bit more of an idea in real time, in real time, as of today, Radar Scope 101. Now, again, one more time, I will, I will, uh, in future videos, give a little bit more. You know, I, t we we touched just base base real quickly on the enhanced echo tops to kind of give an estimated. Uh, it is severe. It just went severe. Perfect, beautiful. This storm just went severe. You guys can see that. We're gonna go up, um, we're gonna touch it. As I explained in my last video, severe thunderstorm warning, and we're gonna highlight it. Severe thunderstorm warning, National Weather Service, Denver, Colorado. 7.39 mountain time, a severe thunderstorm is located over northeastern Longmont, or 24 miles southwest of Greeley, moving southeast at 20. Hazard, 60 mile an hour wind gusts and penny size hail. And I basically confirmed that before it went severe. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We actually see, we, we had this, we saw this, uh, 7.30. So, so roughly six minutes or so before the severe thunderstorm warning came out for this. Um, we, we saw this within radar scope. If I didn't have radar scope, guys, I couldn't use it. Yes, we were experiencing it, but if I, if I didn't have radar scope, I couldn't use I wouldn't know what was going on. So ultimately, this is, uh, this is a prime example of why somebody should get radar scope, why you should get it, because it's going to give you an idea of what's, what exactly is coming to you uh, and, and hopefully a little bit more time. But, but when I say a little bit more time, I'm talking about I wasn't paying attention to the radar. I was actually out watching a movie. In any case, uh, that is just, that's actually awesome that we got the severe thunderstorm warning real time. And, and <clears throat> you guys were actually able to see that. I went through each, each one of my depictions that I would go through 
That would be from the Super Res Reflectivity, Base Velocity, Super Res Velocity to show the winds, and then we experience the winds. Strongest winds are going to be south of us now, so I would anticipate them south and east. I would anticipate them. They're going to issue another warning. It's going to be south and east of us. And then we also touch base on the uh, enhanced echo tops. And those echo tops gave me an idea of how tall this storm was. The taller the storm, guys, the taller the storm, the stronger chance that it is of, of becoming severe or that the better chance, I should say. And conversely, um, the stronger the storm will be, period. So, and again, this is, uh, this is Radar Scope 101. This is how we would use the product in the field while we were chasing. So, wonderful tool to have. I would encourage everybody to get it. I know this video's uh, a little bit long, but ultimately, here you guys go, and you saw it in action. There we go. I'm going to set it down. There we go. There's the next warning that just came out. And as I told you, they would extend that to the south and east. And they did. So, boom. Here we go. Full text on it. You guys can see the National Weather Service, DIA, Denver, their, uh, their particular verbiage and warning on it. And there's the warning itself. Now we're going to go back to, right now, super res velocity. And you can clearly see what we call the yellow box or the severe thunderstorm warning box. Now, guys, this particular cell is moving south and east, as you can see and defined by the arrows. So this particular cell, cell D6, 737, hell size, uh, 0.75, so, you know, but, but it gives the time. So Tacoma, here we go, guys, Tacoma, 752, Brighton at 807, and just southeast of Brighton, about 822, if it holds together. We got some other junk out ahead of it. Um, okay, so there's our echo tops. And then, of course, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the verti vertically in integrated uh, liquid here. And this is really going to show us the best chance of hail is going to be just to our south and east between Erie and Frederick. Real time, 749, August 4th. 2017. Okay, guys, what we've done is we've grabbed my phone for a minute just to show the difference here um, because Laura doesn't have uh, on her phone, my wife doesn't have the split screen, so I wanted to kind of touch base on that. Uh, that's something that we, uh, we've not done, we've not done, and then I'll move back to her phone. It's got, her screen is a little cleaner, a little better, but, uh, and it's certainly a newer phone, but one thing I want to do is I, I definitely want to do this. I want to go to the split screen because you guys are are really, really going to dig this. For those that don't know, um, you've got the availability to split this screen. So, for an example, on this one, my top, top part of my screen is the Super Res uh, Reflectivity Tilt 1. And, again, that's just the lowest elevation of that dish. So if you look at my hand real quick, dish um, 0 0.5 like this, so that it's it's scanning in the lowest elevation. The bottom part of my screen now is the Super Res Velocity product, and again, it's at 0 0.5 degrees. You guys can, can read that. That's the elevation. And we can clearly see that around Fort Lupton, which I mentioned earlier, they are definitely getting the strongest wind. So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to go down here, and we don't want that. I don't want to pull the the uh, the towns up here. So I'm going to go. We're almost there. 60, about 63.8, almost 64 mile an hour, right by Lupin, right on top of Lupin. They're probably going to get some trees. Uh, some some uprooted trees. I wouldn't be surprised if we hear or see some spotter network reports of some trees um, down in that in that area uh, or tree limbs, whatnot. But the screen, the split screen uh, feature is awesome. You won't find it on another product. 
on on on. Uh, I mean, I'd love to. pickle three. Are you gonna find split screen on pickle three? Somebody tell me that. Um, if you are, and uh, this is just unbelievable. And again, you guys saw it real time. So the split screen is easy for the iPhone. You guys see this right here? Bam. Now, I'm going to submit a report here in just a moment because it is still raining. But again, that's just the button for the split screen. So now you guys know. We'll call it a soft button like I did the other one. Right now, I'm going to submit a, a report. Right now, you guys can see what I did here. It's real easy. That button, that soft button. I'm not going to do spotter network. What we're going to do is an mping report. So we're going to do mping, and we're going to put rain, and we're going to submit, and that's it. Report submitted. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that report is submitted. So the rain that we got, and we're getting a little bit still, still now, uh, we submitted that report via mping. Now, what else you can do is you can submit via Spotter Network. There's your Spotter Network. If you're a member of the Spotter Network, if you've taken the test and whatnot, you can submit that report via Spotter Network. If there was damaging wind or tornado or whatever the case is, that's how easy this is. So, you know, a lot of times when I've been out, and I, like those tornadoes out in Wyoming and Colorado on June 12th, I submitted reports right here straight from the phone. So, again, we've gone over a few different products. I hope that this has helped you because it's shown you guys real time. And then, of course, we've touched base on some of the soft keys, at least on the iPhone, and how we utilize those during an event. Now, I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this little feature. I would anticipate them to issue another warning to the south, um, kind of the south and east of this because of the wind, if they get enough reports. So... That's where we're at. VCP 212 is their mode. And that's kind of uh, that's kind of where we're at and what's happening. So, all right. We're going to close on this video, guys. We swapped phone. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm done with this video. We're going to call this uh, Radar Scope 101, Episode 2. I will do some more videos, guys. As I, as I mentioned a couple of times now, we will do some more videos highlighting some more features. But for now, we're just going to stick with this. You guys saw this damn thing in action. It's unbelievable. And again, one more time, split screen. Tell me, tell me, somebody tell me that Pickle 3, you can do this in Pickle 3. Have your velocity and your, your uh, reflectivity as well as other products. I've heard everybody say, oh, Pickle 3, Pickle 3. I've had Pickle 3. It won't do this. It's not going to go in this much detail. You guys want something to save your ass, to save your life? Radar scope. That's how we knew that was coming and what was coming at us. That was it. And you guys saw it firsthand, real time. I'm not an employee with, uh, with WDT. I'm not employed by WT, WDT. But what I do know is that I believe in their product. And this product has saved my ass many times. So... Some people might not like me saying ass, but that's the way it is. So this product has saved my ass many times, and it just right now saved my butt because I knew, although I hadn't been paying attention quite, we knew that we were going to get banged. That's why I came out with the camera and the phone and showed you guys um, as it was happening live. So do me a favor, guys. If you've not been able to purchase product or if you've uh, had any reservations about it in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor. Do me a favor and get it because this will save your butt, no doubt about it. This right here is what allowed us to know what was coming at us and that I should get outside and, and, and film and do whatever I needed to do. If this would had been tornado warned, we would have had a few more extra minutes and we could have we could have easily gotten down in the basement and done whatever if this had been tornado warned. So I can't stress it enough, guys. This right here.